Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're over here at the Black Locust Cafe on East Washington Avenue. We've been here all show. Yeah, we've and had I a lovely it. time. It's yes. been great. Yes. Starting to get hungry. I don't know about you. Well, I'm starting to get more awake. That's oh, well, right. that's good. <laughs> just the, the smell. Coffee, yeah. Just the smell of coffee just wakes me up in the morning. So we're joined now by John Reske. How are you, John? Doing well. Thanks for having us today. Absolutely. And we're just going to uh, we're just going to riff a little bit today. Yeah, we don't really have any yeah. notes. <laughs> so um, talk to us about what's new, what's happening at the Robinia. I mean, uh, Black Locust Cafe is part of the Robinia Courtyard um, enterprise, if you will. Tell us what's new, what's happening. Well, obviously, you guys are aware of the uh, the news with the closing of Julep and right. Barolo uh, mm -hmm. back in uh, January 1st, mm -hmm. uh, officially. Um, so, you know, we've been working on reprogramming the spaces, sure. uh, taking potential tenants through there, and looking at uh, possi possible ways to obviously re-envision those spaces as well as complement what we have, uh, what our ultimate vision was with, mm -hmm. uh, with the original Rivenia Courtyard concept. Right. Um, so we've had a lot of interest and uh, we've decided to plow forward with a new restaurant group actually. So okay. we've been assembling a new team which we're very excited about. I can't name all the names because some of them are still members of uh, other organizations, but sure. um, but you know Chef Nick Johnson's still on board, and sure. he's obviously wants to return to what his passion was, which was kind of a European delivery of New World flavors, and mm -hmm. so he's put together a really cool menu under the name of the Coterie. Actually, is going to be the name of the oh. new space in back. Oh, actually, nice. Beautiful. and uh, we're excited because we're going to be doing some fundraising dinners here uh, to uh, kind of round out our capital raise here and get us launched soon. Hopefully, we're open in maybe two months. That might wow. be a little optimistic. Wow. But you know, there's, um, there aren't going to be too many changes to the space. Uh, we'll be adding some fixtures and redoing some of the, uh, some of the existing fixtures that, that obviously signified uh, Julep's existence. Uh, and Barolo is actually going to be turned into this sort of a rotating tap house, actually. Brandon Brisky, whom you've met before, big beer aficionado, was with One Barrel for quite some time. And uh, we were exploring some, you know, again, some, some ways to complement the existing uses, right? Black Locust Cafe, a little bit of a higher end restaurant and back with the coterie, mm -hmm. you know, chef driven concepts. Sure. And how can we kind of uh, capitalize what we have going on in the courtyard? And so again, that beer garden concept uh, in the off hours. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, rotating uh, various brewers through the spaces actually. We've got some strategic partnerships already lined up with some existing brewers, bring them in on a month by month basis. They take over. They have some one-offs that uh, are only available here as well, and we sign them up month by month. So I think it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the wine bar that Barola once was, but a lot of the wine offerings that Barola once had will be incorporated in the Coterie and back, too. Sure. So again, everything that we were once familiar with is all going to be available here at Rubinia Courtyard. That's Soon. wonderful. And I think that's important for people to know that um, just because you had um, two places that closed down doesn't mean that they're going to stay closed down. There's going to be new something new and exciting coming. Well, so. I'm really excited about the newness that you have coming because you talk yeah. a little bit about uh, some of the concepts, like chef driven, a chef driven concept, yeah. and bringing some experts in uh, that are really knowledgeable in the beer industry. Talk to us about how important that is. I mean, the people that you have in place when you're driving from behind and the product is at the forefront of what what you're doing and your vision, getting the right folks is key. Oh, absolutely. And it's uh, honestly, it's something I know nothing about, right? And you have to surround yourself with a solid team. A, they have to be passionate about what they're, um, they're going to be selling. And I think we've really put together a good, solid group here as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, it does. I mean, because they're going to be in there day in, day out and pushing that product and uh, bringing the people in. And obviously we've created a beautiful space here and we're very excited because obviously American Family Insurance, I don't know if you know, they just had their groundbreaking ceremony on Wednesday, right? So everything next door is going to be moving forward uh, and should be open by spring of 2018. So again, it's just not that we're playing the waiting game. We've got a great concept, but we're very excited to move forward because all the pieces are finally falling in new uh, position now. That is so. so exciting. Yeah, this is such a beautiful space. Just this, I mean, this is my first time at Black Locust Cafe, and you've taken a concept and made it very pretty and unique and aesthetically pleasing, and it's just incredible smells and you know great little spaces to sit, and I love this space already, so I'm excited to see what you're going to do, but share with me a little bit about the, you talked a little bit about the initial mission or vision of Rubinia Courtyard. What is that? What was the sort of ground that you've established yourself on? Well, it was really about, uh, you know, originally I'm real estate development first, right? And obviously I'm always looking for creative projects, uh, opportunities mm -hmm. to take existing uh, buildings, turn them into something new, 
And then w on top of that, you have an opportunity to take, you know, be part of this 200 acre renaissance, if you will, right? Cap East District's been rotting since, you know, the 40s, basically. And so we got, we got an opportunity to get in ground first and, um, and uh, be part of something new here, right? I mean, there's hundreds of millions of dollars of reinvestment going on right now around us. And so it's exciting to be a small part of that. And so, you know, you take all of your loves and compound it with, again, this this opportunity to recreate this district. It's very exciting, so. It is, it's a rehab of this little yeah. area here and to be a part of that is wonderful to bring the you know traffic back to this location and this area and the excitement and the energy of people that can come to this space and, and to be a part of that is, is an exciting thing. Absolutely. And I'm curious to know, I mean, are you, a, a kind of a two-part question, are you looking to, to um, have any other people or experts or, or take on anybody else as part of this endeavor moving forward? Or or, and then also, how how have you found the people that you found who are as passionate as they are? Uh, how do you find people like that? Well, I don't want to say they come out of the woodwork. Obviously, you know there is a bit of a um, there, there, I don't want to say glut, but there is there's a lot of restaurants out there, right? Everybody who has a good idea has basically had an opportunity to try and implement it, you know, in some form or fashion it's throughout the city of Madison. Very saturated restaurant market. It's pretty market. saturated. So it's obviously, it's harder than, than you might think, but you know, you establish enough, enough, uh, uh, enough contacts in the mm -hmm. industry and people are always bouncing off of each other. That exchange of ideas is always uh, happening. You know, wouldn't it be great if, and again, it's just a matter of uh, getting, getting access to resources to make it happen. And then obviously implementing the idea once it, once it, uh, once it takes well, off. I'm a strong believer of if you're creating energy and buzz and excitement in your space, people are tend to, tend to be drawn to that. Absolutely. And so you have that the opportunity then to have people sort of come to you and be excited to jump in, jump on board with you. Yeah. Now, are you open for more people coming to you at this point? Or are you pretty, pretty uh, well set as far as? We, you know, we're just we're through these investment dinners. We're definitely looking for capital raise, right? And then and it's really not it's really just a debt form, right? So it's not like we're looking for partners or anything like that. But we are bringing in the community is very much behind Rabinia Courtyard as a concept. So we've got a lot of people that are interested, but we're always looking for more. You know, you always want enough working capital to uh, get to the finish line. But as far as like our team goes, we're pretty set actually. We've got a good team, it's rounded out between the three spaces. That's a good place to be because once you have the right people in place, you can really move forward and charge ahead together as a group. So Absolutely. that's wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Real quick before we go, Tell us about some things that we, people can get on the menu here at Black Locust Or Cafe. what I can get in just a minute. All right, in about five <laughs> minutes, you're going to be ordering. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'd like to think we're famous for our Jian Bing, right, which is that traditional Chinese yep. crepe sandwich yep. that uh, I don't think anybody else has to offer in the city of Madison. And we've right. got a couple of riffs on that with a Cuban, Cuban sandwich version yep. and a veggie sandwich version. But, yep. um, you know, we've got some fantastic bowls, some great open-faced sandwiches, uh, a little of everything, actually. And then, obviously, our sweet and savory crepe selection is... Uh, is pretty solid as well, oh so. Gosh. And we're gonna take advantage of that. You had me right? at veggie sandwich. <laughs> Good thing this it. is the last segment. Yes, that's right. John Rasky, thank you so much for having us today. Thanks. We've been here at the Black Locust Cafe, part of the Rubinia Courtyard Family Restaurants over on East Washington mm -hmm. Avenue. That's all the time we have for Wisconsin Family. We'll see you next time. Every day is a new beginning. Shine your light. It's a day and the world is waiting.